absolute value inequalities. This is like concept 7 where we solved absolute value equalities, but now we'll have the inequality thrown in there. Okay, how to solve absolute value inequalities? First of all, get the absolute value alone, which we did in concept 7. In this concept, though, we won't have any where there's things outside of the absolute value to move away. So that's already done for you in all of your homework. Second is to drop the absolute value signs and set up two equations, again, just like concept 7. And then third, we're going to set up one equation equal to a negative and the other equal to a positive, just like concept 7. Okay, in this first one, we have the absolute value alone, everything's ready to go. We're going to break it up into two equations. We're going to have x is less than 2 and x is greater than negative 2. Whenever you set up the equation with the negative, you flip the sign. So that's different than last time. We don't have anything else to solve because it's already x alone on one side, so we are done at that point. To graph these, we're going to put them both on one number line. So I'll put negative 2 here, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, maybe even negative 3. And we're going to start with the one on the left. X is less than 2, so let's draw that. Less than 2 would be shaded to the left in an open circle. I'm going to just stop my shading right there because we're going to meet up shading in a minute. You'll see what I mean. The one on the right says X is greater than negative 2, so over here at negative 2 I'm going to have an open circle. Now I'm just going to shade until these two match up. So the numbers that satisfy this inequality are numbers between negative 2 and 2. Any number that you plug in for X in our original equation between negative 2 and 2 would make a true statement. Okay, for this next one we're going to do the same thing. So we have 3x is greater than 12 and 3x is less than negative 12. Now we're not done yet, we need to go ahead and solve these by dividing both sides by 3. And then we can graph. So we need negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, just barely fit in there. I'm going to make my line just a little bit longer. Okay, so on our left we have x is greater than 4, so I'm going to graph that. Greater than, open circle and shades out to the right. And for the left one we have x is less than negative 4. So open circle and shade out to the left. So as you notice, this inequality is shading out one to the right, one to the left. These are the two types of graphs you'll have. One where they shade in together, one where they shade out to the opposite edges. Great, number three, same thing. We're going to set up our two equations. x minus four is greater than or equal to six x minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 6. Add 4 over. And add 4 over. And we're ready to graph. Hmm, that's going to be a lot of numbers between 10 and negative 2. So I'm going to kind of go by 2's maybe. So negative 2, and this is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Put 12 out there too. Okay, my left one says x is greater than or equal to 10. So I'm going to have a closed circle and shade out. And my right one says x is less than or equal to negative 2. Closed circle and shade out. Your circles will always be the same on these problems, so don't ever have one that's open and one that's closed because it comes from having this line right here in the very beginning. So your circle should always match up. All right, in four, we're going to break it into two. We have x plus three is greater than nine, and x plus three is less than negative nine. 
subtract 3 over on both sides. And then we're ready to graph. Again, I'm not going to put every notch because that would be a lot. Um, let's do that. Let's put 0 here and 6 here. Okay, on the left it says x is greater than 6, so I'm going to have an open circle and I'm going to shade greater than. And on the right it says x is less than negative 12, open circle, shade less than. Okay, make sure that you read this statement right here so you know about priority, priority concepts and then go ahead and go into your homework.